Hi everyone, welcome back to another Math with Sophie video. Today we're going to be getting into three-dimensional geometry. We're going to be looking at how to find the equation of a plane in parametric form. That's a specific form. So the information we're going to be given is as follows. We're going to be given a point on the plane and we're going to be given two vectors that control the direction of the plane. So how are we going to find the parametric form of the plane. I'm going to call the plane P. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the vector. If we imagine that we're starting at 0, 0, 0, we're starting at the origin, that's going to take us to this specific point that's on the plane. So the vector that will take us from 0, 0, 0 to 2, 1, 3 would be 2, 1, 3. And I'm going to use an application called GeoGebra and link the resource below in the description. But this is how you can visualize this in three dimensions. I've already found the equation of this vector here. So if you imagine that we started here right in the middle at 0, 0, 0, we've currently found the red vector, the vector that's going to take us to the point that we know is on the line. Okay, so we found this first vector. Now we want to think about what the line is going to look like. I like to think about the line as a piece of A4 paper, that could obviously be infinitely bigger, but tilted in three dimensions. So let's visualize what the plane looks like. This is the plane. We can consider looking at the plane from different angles just to help our, our understanding of what it looks like. So if I rotate it round this way, we can also look at it from above and below, okay? So currently we're going to be here at point A. We've gone all the way from 0, 0, 0 along vector A and now we'd be at point A. Every single point on this vector from now would be a linear combination of these two vectors. What do I mean by that? It would mean it would be a multiple of the vector minus 1, 2, 1 added with a multiple of the vector 1 minus 1, 1. So lambda and mu are just Greek letters that represent numbers. Each specific point will have its own lambda and mu. So let's have a look what that's going to look like. So if I consider this point here on the plane, I'm going to rotate it so we can get a little bit of a better look at it. So let's consider this point here on the plane. Our equation of the plane so far is 2, 1, 3. That means that we are currently here. Now we need to get to this point on the plane. So you can see that I would need to go along the vector minus one, two, one, okay? This vector here, backwards by minus 0 0.2. A different point, again, would have a, a different lambda value. If the point was here, it would have a positive lambda value. If the point was over here, it's gonna have a negative lambda value. So, so far we've gone, if we're looking at our equation, we've gone 2, 1, 3 to get to here. And we've gone in this one, we have, we're at minus 0 0.2. And then we've gone minus 0 0.2 along this vector. So currently, if we've done the first two components, we would be exactly here. Now we need to get to this point P on the plane. And we're gonna go exactly one multiple of this lambda here. So we've gonna have gone from O to A, then we've gone along this vector here, negative 0 0.2 lambda. We're gonna go, mu is one, we're gonna travel a multiple of one along this vector, which is equivalent when you add them all together of going from 0, 0, 0 to this specific point on the plane. Now, every point on the plane will have its own lambda and its own mu, but you can see that if I move, for example, the lambda and the mu, let's put it something like down here. This other point on the line is still a combination of lambda and mu. All we've done is we've changed now lambda to be 0 0.2 and mu to be minus 0 0.6. So our final answer in our exam is going to be plus lambda times by minus 1, 2, 1, plus mu 
times my second vector, and it doesn't matter which order, which way around you have these, one minus one, one. If you're in the exam and you want to have a similar experience where you can look at this in three dimensions, you can use your Casio. You can go to the 3D graph option, okay? Inside type, you're going to select plane and execute here. Now, you're gonna have this in a vector form, so you're gonna press F2, and you can type this in. Two, one, three is your point that's on the line, and these are multiples of your two vectors, so minus one, two, one, and multiples of your second vector, one, minus one, one. You can set that up and draw it, and you can see that's your plane in three dimensions, and similar to GeoGebra, you can rotate it round, so you can see it in three dimensional space. I hope this video was useful, and now you're able to find the parametric form of a plane. In the next video, we're gonna be converting this parametric form into a Cartesian form, so keep watching. Thank <laughs> you.